Hello everyone and welcome to Lipnox VR. Today we're talking about Cave Digger 2, Dig Harder. This is for the Oculus Quest 2, but I did play the original game on the PlayStation VR, and it was one game that got some serious updates as it went along. The initial product was pretty cool in itself and at a super low price point. It was a, you know, hidden gem in that sense. But then they expanded it and let you expand so much further in the game with so much more content that was just free stuff. And that's what I really loved about the first one. The second one is even better. This this game is just, I gotta send my praise to the developer. They have completely just nailed it. This one's from McKiwi, and honestly, their their website's vrkiwi.org. And sure, it sounds like Kiwi Designs actually. I don't I don't think they're affiliated though. But this game is so so good. So I played this single player, but it does support one to four players co-op too. So if you've got some buddies for this, this is gonna be one to get. 100 percent for the co-op aspect right there. But even as a single player game, going into these caverns and just mining the walls, and you can mine them all the walls with multiple tools. You got a shovel. You got guns, there's all these tools you can buy as you keep upgrading, there's like dynamite and stuff. It's super cool to getting some of the upgrades as you go along. And it's basically one of these grind kind of games. Every time you go down in this dungeon, it's gonna be a little different, a little bit different, a little bit different. And as you're going through, you can only carry so many things and you can buy upgrades to increase how much you can carry. But having the guns, yeah. The guns aren't just for mining. There's actual monsters you have to kill, and they will kill you if you don't kill them first. So you gotta be very strategic with some of your mining. Need some openings to kill some of the baddies at the start. That's what I was doing. Sneaky play, because uh, some of those big guys do a lot of damage and take a lot of shots. So if you're gonna wanna dig deep in these mines, maybe the things you wanna upgrade first are gonna be more in terms of health and your and your gun power. But, you know, if you wanna go to new lands, explore, there's more than just the first town area. There's like four different like lands you can buy I can upgrade it. I think well three others than good other than the first one you get. And each one has their own mining whole thing. And like the amount of content in this, the amount of time it would take you to play through all this stuff, it's just it's a win so much. It's player customization. Like you're 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 looking at just this huge long game. It's gonna take you a super long time. It's showing up as $28.99 Canadian. So I don't know how much that is in American price tag, but either way, like this is totally worth it. This is a really, really good game. And the graphics really awesome. Awesome. I will say visually there was one flaw and only one flaw and it was that when you're in the overworld there is a pretty distinct amount of pop in as things load in around you as you're like exploring the area so maybe they can add some like fog of war type of thing to make that seem lessened but uh, I mean it is what it is it doesn't affect the gameplay because you're you know you're just trans you're just exploring those areas it, it really is it's not a big deal it's not even you're not even mining in these areas it's a couple things to mine so it's completely no big deal in the mines everything looked fine it all worked perfect perfectly well for me and i just had a blast playing this game super super good game again super highly recommended uh, i talked about graphics what about the sound what about the sound okay so there's this guy this narrator guy that's like narrating the game for you and he adds so much flavor to the start of the game especially playing by yourself because they hired just the best voice actor and he gets you right pumped up for your caving thing and honestly if you're playing an indie cave game you couldn't have asked for a better voice actor for this role so huge huge props to that individual I don't know what their name is but the the voice acting in terms of that is just awesome all the sound effects sound great too sound department totally awesome i don't know how much customization there is but you unlock more and more things you can buy in the store to customize your character as you go along and pro progress through this so i mean i think you can totally deck your character out with some pretty crazy stuff and i'm sure this kind of game they're gonna be adding updates all the time i know this technically did come out in like early access form uh, a long time ago back march 7th and honestly, I was not even aware of this. So I guess that was the, the beta testing thing. But the full release is out now. It came out on the 7th or 8th of September. And I've been playing it since then. I had a huge, huge amount of time just mining and collecting stuff. Pro tip, do not bother with the gold until like, at the start of the games you can pick up that gold. But like the gold is not worth it. It's going to fill your sack with all this worthless stuff. Don't, don't bother with the gold chunks. I know it's fun hammering the walls over and over again. That being said, early on, you want to hammer those up to hard to reach places you can actually throw your hammer up there it's pretty pretty cheap but it works but uh hey some of those spots you just can't get to unless you're like a super tall man maybe if you're super tall man you can get them too but yeah the first game cave digger one was a fantastic game i 
had tons and tons of fun playing it. And Cave Digger 2 is dig harder, totally dig harder. It's way better, way more stuff to do, way better overall package. And it's just, it, this one is just super easy to get into. Uh, I should also say, you know, you have your uh, full options for control. You can teleport, you can uh, move around, you can uh, do your whatever smooth or snap turning, whatever you want. It's got, it's got all the things in that regard. There's tons of different options and things. And there is, just like the first game, hidden endings. But either way, I'll let you guys check out this game because I highly recommend you do. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much to the developer for sending a key over for this because I've had, I've had a great time with this, obviously. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it real.